So when we start talking about chakras, a lot of times people start talking about an imbalance or a, or a balance, right? And it sounds a little silly when you hear this because in reality it doesn't really <clears throat> describe anything in terms of the development of your personality, the development of your own human being, the development of your own psyche, right? You must gain balance within yourself before you can bring balance to the world. And the first step to gaining balance begins with this. It's going to be important as we proceed into this video to think about the chakras as an actual psycho psychological map, right? It is a representation, a symbol or symbols for a deeper understanding of where you are in the universe and how the universe relates to you. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to actually develop or master the lower three chakras aka the lower self so when i start talking about ma the mastering of the lower chakras the mastering of, of the lower self i am talking about something that alice bailey an esotericist explains as the personality it's interesting that she explains it as the personality because of the fact that somebody who makes an impact in this world is usually described as having a good personality there is some meaning towards that in the sense that Somebody who has personality is more involved. It's more expressive, right? Somebody that is somebody that knows himself more than than a person who would not be described as having a personality. And the reason this is is because if you were to look at the way the soul comes into existence, the soul comes into the earth, it has to take on a form, a limited form, and that limited form is our physical body, our physical mechanism. This physical mechanism has an intelligence within it. It has its own desires, its own seeking of pleasure, right? It has its own intentions in a way. And so this will be described as the instinctual nature, right? And so when you start to manifest these desires more and, be, and you do it, do it more intelligently, right? Like you learn how to, how to cook, you learn how to um, attract a partner, you learn how to uh, buy more things. You you learn how to have more power, more ability to spend, more ability to feel secure. As you learn these things, you're also developing a personality. You're becoming a person in this world that can operate under its given guidelines. And so when we start to think about it like this, we can also realize, we also realize that the lower three chakras are in connection to this, right? The root chakra is all about security. The sacral chakra is all about procreation and the solar plexus is all about power, greed, etc. These are again reflections of of the, the tendencies that we have coming into this world, the tendencies that the soul kind of takes on and cares more for as it starts to develop into the physical. Hey guys, I just want to pause the video really quick and tell you guys if you guys are finding this content helpful if you guys like what i'm talking about you guys seem interested um uh, make sure to give it a like subscribe and comment down below whatever else you guys want to see from me all right so we'll proceed thank you to further expand on the three lower chakras and our own spiritual evolution we have to start to think about our experiences and ra from the law of one explains that our outer experiences or our outer self such as the universe and whatever we attract and our inner self such as our beliefs our intentions and our and what we do he explains that these two things their meeting point within our bodies these two energies is basically where our evolution lies so it is kind of like a vibratory understanding and if to give an, a good example would be when you are in the seat of the root chakra, when your when your awareness or your consciousness is at the level of the root chakra, you interpret all experience that comes in through survival. And to further understand this, to understand this very well, you one has to recognize that human beings live between different realities at the same time. So, you can see things from the eyes of perception, or from the eyes of love, from the eyes of power, from survival, etc., right? 
whatever our wherever our consciousness lies is wherever our evolution lies right is where our prog where our progress lies and so this is kind of where we can also make the connection between the law of attraction and ourselves we attract experiences into our lives because of the perception that we hold within ourselves within our inner nature and so until we evolve and learn the necessary lessons that we are to learn within our lives we will keep repeating these same experiences and stay in for example that survival state in order to master the self you first have to understand the self and to understand the self you first must be able to see the self you first must be aware of the self and this is where i get to the point of how we actually consciously evolve and it is by putting our attention on our evolution which will allow for a, a catalyst right because you are watching this video right now and that is because you are interested in evolving yourself as a human being you want a deeper understanding of your experiences and this is where we start talking about wisdom wisdom is not limited to age wisdom can happen at any age and that is because of an awareness of the relationship between your inner nature and your outer nature your experiences and your interpretations so one thing to really that will really change your evolution will be just your awareness of what's going on how do you react to your experiences what is your greed telling you what is your fear telling you what is your insecurity telling you as you start to see these things rise up in your body rather than reacting to them but actually seeing them in a displaced disconnected way you will start to recognize your own power and also your own inner nature and when you are able to detach from a situation and take the experience as it is and and just purify it to the most simplest and helpful information for yourself you are able to actually provide a catalyst in your own evolution and so lessons will be learned and more and newer experiences will be attracted to you the point here is not to control but to understand and that must be remembered I am not notice that I am not suggesting celibacy um vegetarianism or any of these techniques that a lot of people mention within religion or or other belief systems I'm not I'm actually not even giving any specific belief system here but rather asking for an awareness of self your awareness of self will allow you to evolve yourself and that's basically it i think a true master of self or of the lower self is somebody who can have any experience and take what is needed from it mastery over self mastery over the lower three chakras is like mastery over anything else it requires an openness to experience a willingness to learn and a constant awareness of progression there are no techniques you know i wouldn't recommend meditation i want to correct myself really quick i do i what i meant was i wouldn't recommend a specific meditation technique meditation is key for anybody who wants to get to know themselves spiritually and mentally and emotionally it connects you with yourself but i wouldn't say um there's a specific way that you should do it if anything uh, you f you will find out as you go and as you develop your own practice and as you progress um there are many different meditations that i've tried out and really it is up to you to determine how you go about it and it comes in you know with the intention of just being a better person and being um a more capable person a more competent person you know 
eating healthier, um, meditating for the sake of being better and connecting with myself, um, you know, growing, growing financially, um, developing deeper relationships with people, connecting with others on a deeper level. All of these things are, we're able, we're kind of like slowly hitting marks within myself where I was understanding myself deeper and I was able to derive more from my experiences and therefore leap in terms of like have quantum leaps in terms of the kind of person that I am and the thing and the experiences that I, I, I attract. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys like the video, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what more, what more kinds or what different kinds of content you want to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.